Did you know that when you play doubles, you have to learn how to rotate with your partner properly so that you can enjoy the game? In this video, I will teach you how to position yourselves so you can effectively cover your side of the court. Hi, I'm Coach Kenya Sunshon and welcome to Badminton ABCs where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. So do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Doubles rotation is a very requested topic. Our viewers such as DK and Denise Latigo had asked for this. So if you have any topics that you want to learn, please write it down on the comment section below. So in doubles, when your partner is doing the serve, you being the other player has to stay behind her, okay? So you can either stay on your side of the court or you can stay in the middle, okay? Again, I would like to stress that there's an adjustment needed to be made. For example, your opponent loves to hit a straight shot. You can, you can go one step leaning towards that straight line because you're anticipating for it. Or if they like hitting cross, you go cross. Positioning, person at the back, do not stand too far back. Why? Because this area will be open for attack or for a short push. Important is to go closer to your partner because anything that goes past your partner is technically yours. So if there are mid-court shots, it will be yours. Standing too far back will only make it harder for you to take it. So if my partner were to make a short serve, short serve, she stays in front, I stay at the back. Because a short serve means you are in an attacking position. However, if my partner serves a flick serve, we move side by side. Anytime you're in a defensive mode, you have to go side by side. That means anytime, at any time when I lift the shuttle, we stay side by side. Okay? Now, I would rather that one is slightly more to, to the front and one slightly to the back. Okay? So, in case there's a drop shot, it's easier for you to get. Now, that will depend on where you place that clear. Okay? If I place that clear on a straight line because it's stronger, it can be stronger, she can go a little closer to the front, I can go a little to the back but still in the middle for that defense. Okay? So what happens when I'm in front, my partner's at the back, and the shot is here in the middle? And we both go for it. So I'm moving like this and my partner is moving close to me. So both of us are hitting on the same spot. Who should be giving way? My partner should give way because she sees me and I don't see her. Or you can go the conventional type of, you know, telling your partner, shout the, your partner's name. So if she shouts mine or if she shouts yours, then that's the time I'll be taking the shot. Now, other points to remember, as much as possible, when you're in defense, you stay side by side. We don't want the front back positioning simply because it's too far out. Doubles is until the outer line. For singles, it's hard enough to do a defense side to side like this, but the court has extended to the last outer line. So never wait for a defense standing in a front back position okay now when you're in an attacking position and person at the back slightly has been attacking a lot you want to switch when do you switch only when Mika goes midcourt hits the shot then moves forward then I move here but that would mean that the mid shot court is not a lift the mid shot court is pressing down that's the only time I can move in she can move back Okay, so this is basically you and your partner. When one goes to the front, one goes to the back. This is your position, this is how you turn around. Okay, this is your positioning.
Positioning is the key to win those doubles matches. For those who prefer singles, please watch my videos on it. Don't forget to subscribe, level up your game, and be the next smashing success.